Greetings, greetings, fellow returns. It's Mr. Shachai here. And we are looking at your past paper on financial mathematics. And this is your November 2015. Now, let's see in terms of what is it that we can do here. Now, they say Zach likes to travel. Now, he uh, has saved 5000 as a spending uh, money for his vacation in Australia at the end of 2015. Now, they say Zach look up the uh, exchange rate on the internet using the information in the table below. Calculate how many Australian dollars Zach can buy with 5000 right? So now the easier thing that you can simply do, you know that uh, you have the representation. You have this as your Australian dollar. And uh, remember the 0 0.105, uh, 0 0.058 is equivalent to 9 rand point five one eight five six nine cent, right? So the easier thing that you can simply do, you can just, you know, take this 5,000, you say, if you are having this 5,000 and you divide it by the 9 uh, point, I think it's 9.5, let's fix that. You divide this by 9.518569 to get what in terms of your, uh, your dollars. And you'll realize that the dollar that you are finding there, it is going to be uh, your 525.29. So basically, that is going to be the dollar that you are going to find in there, right? Now, let's look at by, uh, the second question. Now, they say, assume, uh, now, they say Zach plans to make another trip to Australia at the end of 2018. They say, assume that the average annual rate of inflation in South Africa will be 6.1% over the next three years. Uh, now, in 2018, what is the amount uh, in 2018, what amount of money will be equivalent to the value of 5,000 now? So they are saying now, they want to know in terms of uh, the 5,000, how much, or rather how much uh, money will be equivalent to 5,000 three years later if the what? if the inflation rate have increased by 6.1%. Uh, and remember the inflation rate, we are said we said we are going to use the compound always. So this is going to be A is equals to P into one plus your interest to the power of N. And we want to find out in terms of what will the five thousand be? Uh, or rather, what should be the value of the five thousand if it have increased at six point one percent over the duration of what? Over the duration of three years. And then you realize that the accumulated amount or the money, this is going to be 5971.95, right? So which means we are saying the 5,000 after three years, uh, the inflation rate have increased. Uh, the same value, the 5,000, it's going to be what now? The value of a 5,000 is going to be 5,971.95, right? It's almost a 1,000. Right. So you will see in terms of how inflation affects, you know, most of our things. So the value of five thousand three years after it's going to be uh five thousand nine hundred and seventy one point nine five, right? Now let's look at uh your seven point two. They say Zach now plan to invest the uh now equal amounts into saving account on the first of uh December twenty sixteen and on uh the first of uh, 2017 December 2017 to have uh, accumulated an amount of 5,980 by December of 2018. If these accounts look, this is very important. If these account earns interest at 9% per annum uh, compounded annually, how much should Zach deposit into the account? Right? Now let's see in terms of what we can do there. Now, uh, there are many things that we can uh, firstly do. Uh, we are going to firstly lack. Uh, now, we are not sure, or rather we don't know in terms of what uh, Zach, uh, what is the value that Zach is going to do, what that is going to invest. But we know that the value that Zach must invest, it must give him the same outcome, or rather combined, uh, it must give uh, him the same outcome. Now, let's see. So, we are going to say 
Now we are going to let this, uh, the money, you're going to say let uh, the money that Zach is going to invest in both of this account uh, be X, right? So you are going to let it be X. And now, which means now, let's look at this. Uh, we are we know that we are having two accounts, right? We know that we are having two accounts and they are compounded, which means, look, uh, it's going to be the first account, which is uh, your P into one plus your I to the power of N plus also your P into uh, one plus I to the power of N. We know that this must give us a totality of 5,000. 980 right we know that these accounts when you add them or when you combine them together they must give us this totality and then now remember we said you let the money right you let p be x right so which means here this is going to be x now let's look at this is going to be let's say this is the second account right uh now if this is the second account whereby the number of years is two or rather, it's the first account. Let's make this to be the first account. This is going to be x into 1 plus. What was the interest given? The interest given is the same. So, which is 0 0.09 to the power what? Which means it's going to be the two-year left there. Remember, in 2016 to 2018, to 2018, it's how many years? It's two years, right? So, this is going to be to the power of 2 plus. The other one, again, is still x. Now, this is going to be 1 plus Remember, we are not sure in terms of the principal amount. That's why we are letting it to be equals to X. Then this is going to be 0 0.09, all right, uh, into one now, because from 2017 to 2018, it's only one year. And we know that this must give us the totality of 5,908, uh, uh, 5, right? And now let's see. So then we are going to then now apply this. Right now, look, if you can, uh, you know, take out X as a common factor from these two things. So this is going to be X into what? Into, if you add this, remember, this is going to give you what? This is going to give you 1.09, uh, I think, uh, to the power of 2, right? Let me just write this to the power of 2. Uh, then plus the other one is going to be same as what now? It's going to be 1 comma zero nine remember this one is just this one right and uh now which means both of these must give us the five nine uh eight zero right so what i did i just simply solved these brackets and took out x as a common fact and now from there you realize that for you to do that you are going to simply now say x is going to be uh, equals to let me just erase there and see so which means the value of your x your value of your x here you're going to say now you divide this side by the same value this 1.09 squared plus the 1.09 and you do the same thing in this side you divide by 1.09 squared plus 1.09 so that these and this cancel and also when you divide this you'll find out the value of your x is going to be close to it's going to be two six it's going to be two six uh to four point nine nine basically it's going to be two thousand six hundred and twenty four uh comma ninety nine cent out again so this is what you can basically do to calculate that so yes i think that's that and good people just don't panic just know what you need to do and read your statement very carefully and you'll realize that these questions are literally the most easiest questions to tackle. Thank you very much.